Hey guys, this is Dabson Ishmael. Wizu Web Builder version 16 has a major update, that is version 16.1, which has a couple of newly added features as well as improved functionalities. So without not talking further, let's go ahead and then take a look at some of these features as well as improved functionalities in the application. So I'm going to go ahead to open my. The first one has to do with the improvement made to the color picker. So let me just select any shape over here and then bring it in here. Double click on it, come to the color section. Let me just change this. And then as you can see, especially at the alpha section where you get to slide to select what value you want to use for your alpha value, you notice that this has been improved from what it used to be some time back. So this is one of the improvements that has been made. Now the next one has to do with the overlay menu. So when you click on your overlay menu here and you double click on it, and you come to the style section when you come to where you have overlay menu and you scroll to the bottom you have enable scroll spy so scroll spy has been added as well as current page that is highlights current page so in case you have a couple of uh, menus listed and you're on a specific page it's going to allow you to see um, that page based on the color that you specify for that to make it easier to distinguish the pages or the link you've clicked on from others as well as you already know what scroll spy does so you'll be able to apply that to your page the next one is a border which has been added to the mega menu so let me get the mega menu here and when i double click on it and come to style um let me just come to the mega menu section and scroll down a bit where you have style item you have border width so you can specify the width of border you'd want to use for your mega menu so if i specify this to be two um or whatever i change it to that's four here you notice that the border is much thicker than what it used to be so this is one of the improvements that has been done to the mega menu the next one is the accordion 2 which has an improved functionality to it so let me just get it here where you can go about positioning of object so you have the option to specify being it absolute or floating of course you know how floating works i'm thinking about the layout grid how that works so if you are choosing between this um, then you probably know exactly what you want to achieve so it's actually cool to see this as part of the features which are being added to the version 16 of wizzy web builder the next is the flex container which now has a fluid uh, full width property especially when you're using them with um, layout grid. So let me just get layout grid here. And once I put or move this into a layout grid and double click on this, I have the full width property over here, which I can specify to be true or false. So that is part of the flex container now. Also another unique um, improvement has to do with the site manager. This time around you can create a folder, um, which will have the same name as a page. So let me just, uh, do this here. So in my site manager, I can choose to rename this folder to um, maybe uh, services and then also rename this page to services. So it won't restrict you to be able to rename a page um, the same as a folder because a folder is of course different from um, a page. A folder is a directory and the page is a page on its own. So definitely you should be able to have same names in your site manager now. Another feature from here is the ability to have um, dividers added to a carousel. So if you come to a carousel to you double click on it, you have the option to use dividers here as well. So this is actually going to be a cool way to be able to, you know, have uh, that sort of animation, especially if you are using animation as part of your um, dividers. And this time around, you can also apply it to the carousel. Also, as part of the dividers, which is um, now added to the carousel, or the dividers, it's on this time around, you can also improve on the height on specific breakpoints to be able to aid with, you know, responsive, um, if, especially if you are working on a responsive website. So that is the height that you see in here, which you can actually tweak based on um, whatever breakpoints that you are on. Now, from here, the panel menu has. Um, alignment feature which allows you to align the icon differently from the um, menus itself or the links that you create itself so let me see if i can find that here 
So that's where you have a um, button here. You can align this differently from um, the links itself. So this is also one feature which will actually help you with a lot of flexibility, especially if you're working with the panel menu. The next one is the cards. The cards now has the ability to convert, um, have stretch links. Let me just get a card to here. So stretch links is, for instance, that's the feature in here. For instance, if I have this um, button link somewhere, I can choose to make it a stretch link. And if I preview this in the browser, it is going to allow me to make the entire card a link. So I can click on this and it's going to take me to wherever I want to go instead of maybe just click on just the button. So that is also one um, improvement or addition that has been added to the card too. Also, another one is when you come to the CMS set of tools, especially with the label, you can now add pardon to it. So when I click on the label, for instance, and right click, I have the chance to add pardon as well as margin. So if I come here, I can specify the pardon um, amount that I want to have for each side for the um, CMS label too. Finally, for the YouTube player, you have the chance to specify a color for um, the specific player you want to use. So if I click on YouTube and I'll click on this and I select um, using player as my player, I get a chance to specify the theme color which I want to have the player to adopt once I am playing video. So let me specify maybe this. And then once I preview this in the browser, it should adopt to that particular color. So you notice that the color is, um, you know, this uh, maroon uh, light color over here. So basically these are some of the new features and improvements that has been made to um, Wizard Web Builder version 16. So it's now version 16.1. Um, you should check it out and then download it if you are using version 16. I'll try my possible best to make specific tutorials on some of the tools that I haven't done much um, with in this particular video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, kindly hit on the subscribe button. And then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it.